Well, hey guys, I am here at camp, and it is like 8 o'clock at night, um, and I finally have a couple minutes uh, where I want to share with you my room here at camp. So we actually leave in a day and a half, um, so it's a little lived in, but um, I want to share, share with you my room. Everyone is at church for the evening. I stay home um, because Cole is just a little too young at this point to go to the services. They have kids' programs. Um, but they don't get home till like 9.30, so it's a little too young for that. So, I am going to share with you my room. I have the front bedroom to myself, and I feel like it's the dorm that I never had. So let me show you what it's all about. Okay, so this is what it looks like from, uh, standing in the doorway. It's a quick, brief little overview. There's sliding glass doors, and those lead into the closet. Okay, so... Over here, we have got um, a built-in dresser, so this pile of things right here, I'm not going to kind of zoom in, that's my sister-in-law's bag of stuff, she's here at camp with us. Um, okay, so I'll start up at the top. These crafty creations are things that my kids made, mostly Colt, uh, throughout the week here at camp, and then this one here is a really cool jellyfish, let me see if I can tilt that down a bit for you. It's so cool. Oh! Oh dear. Isn't that fun? Let's hang that back up. So, anyways, um, this was another sort of jellyfish, and I don't know, I just love these little crafty creations. These are one of my favorite parts of camp. So, this is another one that he made, a little pot of flowers. So, on here are kind of just some of my um, toiletry things. These are a pile of sea glass and rocks that we're going to take home. A bow of Aubrey's, sunglasses, brush. I think it's a little dark. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but, you know, and this is a makeup mirror as well. My mother-in-law brought that um, just, you know, to do makeup. So, anyways, I've got these drawers filled. This first one here. Um, these are kind of like my tank tops. Um, in the back here I've got my jewelry and then I have some extra pillowcases. Because we're here for two weeks, um, I do like to change the pillowcases. The next drawer is my swimsuit and, um, bras. And then this one is, so funny enough, this drawer, I completely forgot that I'd put anything in there. And today I was like, what is even in there? So these are all the shirts that I would kind of just wear like throughout the afternoon. They're kind of clothes that can get a little bit more dirty. These are like my around the house shirts, um, but I haven't even used them. I've just been wearing my regular um, stuff all day. And then this bottom drawer, my father-in-law actually has a bunch of um, RV stuff in here, but I've also put in all of my hair supplies because there's an outlet right here. And I plug my curling iron and stuff into the outlet and then I just sit on the bed and do my hair and makeup and yes I do do my makeup because um, we are at church camp and there's church camp in the morning and in the evening and uh, I just yeah I'm just not one of those who can not uh, do my makeup <laughs> so anyways I'll show you what's in the closet so I did have a lot of clothes here lined up, like lots of more colorful shirts, but I've worn them. Um, this is what I have left. Down below I've got sneakers and some gold ballet flats. And I've got some jeans and my coat. So that's what's on that side. And over here, so they put in this really nice shelving system. And I've got it all filled up. So on the top, I just have my beach bag, and then this is my shower bag. So this has my shower stuff, the kids' shower stuff, um, and I can just easily just take this into the shower. Um, we have to go to like a public shower type thing. It's just actually right off the trailer, which is really convenient. So you can kind of watch when someone is or isn't in the shower, so you can kind of have some privacy, which is nice. Um, yeah. And this bag is from 31 Gifts, and so is this one. It's actually kind of the same pattern there. 
So then here I have got my pajamas. Now, I actually like, I fold my pajama shirt up inside of my um, pajama pants so that I just have like a complete little package and it's already good to go for me. So I did that um, when I was packing my clothes to come to camp. So that's how I've done my clothes as well as the kids. Uh, my pajamas, but I did all of the kids like this, so it's just way easier. They can just grab the pack of clothes and know that, like, the shirt and the shorts match and whatever. <laughs> so these are actually cold shorts that he'll probably wear tomorrow. And then I've just got shorts and, like, loungy shorts and in the back some um, capris, like, leggings and workout pants and loungy pants which I'm going to get into after I film this video. <laughs> so on the left here, this bag is actually a rice pack that I made a long time ago. It's filled with rice and you heat it in the microwave and um, we don't have a microwave at home so I can't use it, but my back has really been bugging me. So I thought, oh, we have a microwave at camp. I will use it at camp and I haven't, but <laughs> maybe I will tonight. Um, and then a couple of beach towels. And then this is my makeup right here. This is a 31 Gifts um, bag, and that is like my favorite pattern. And some towels. And then down here, this is another 31 bag, and I used that to pack in, um, but now it's holding all of my dirty laundry. So here on this nightstand, this is all of my books that I have been reading through for the week. Um, Cultivate by Laura Casey. Make It Happen by Laura Casey. This is now my third time reading through this book. I always read it at camp, and it kind of just fires me up. Um, Fervent by Priscilla, I don't know how to say her last name, Sure, Shire? I'm not sure. Um, the Trim Healthy Mama Plan Book, a Paul Canning book, and this may be my new planner. Um, it's from Target. I haven't yet used it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll return it if I ever get back to the States. I'm not really sure. And then a Country Living magazine. Okay, so here is what is in this top drawer here. I have got my makeup removing wipes, and those are super awesome for removing makeup, um, especially after a long, hot day at camp. I also have this little vanity kit. Um, I picked this up from the hotel that we stayed in in Ohio, and in here I think is like a needle and thread, and honestly I'm not quite sure what's all in there, but I figure if I need something, um, I have it. Open in case of emergency. <laughs> um, and then I have got my face creams. So I've got um, Bee by the Sea, my Bee Radiance cream. So this is kind of like um, a serum for your face. It's really good. And then um, this is what I use in the day for moisturizer. It's from Kiss My Face. And this was awesome because it was only $1.94 at the grocery store. And it looks like because it's a small tube that it's not going to go that far. And let me tell you, I've been using this for weeks. Whoa. And a little just goes a really long way. Um, my Burt's Bees eye cream, which I will not buy again, but it was on clearance, so <laughs> I got it. Um, and then my Trim Healthy Mama Orange Silk Hydrating Cream. I have got some lotion from Scentsy, and I've got nail polish and flashlight and more nail polish over here. So in the bottom drawer is uh, th the bottom of this drawer is a Bible and some camp programs from my father-in-law, and those are camp programs from all the years that they have come, and then on top I just have my first aid kit, and we have had to use that more than once while here at camp. Okay, so over on this side of the bed I've got my fuzzy slippers, I have got my fan, and I have got my Scentsy warmer, and I'm warming um, Tear Mohai, I think is how you say it. Uh, it's really good and I always warm it at camp. It's a retired scent, so but every time I warm it, it kind of just brings back memories of camp. So in this drawer, I don't have much. Um, sometimes I keep my Bible in here, but I take my Bible to service every morning, so um, I haven't used it much in here, but I've got two Scentsy bars. I've got yikes, <laughs> lemon coconut chiffon, a hair tie, flashlight. Um, this is the here, Mahai, Mahai, I'm not really sure, and the kiddos made these sun catchers one day, so they were on little suction cups, but they kind of kept falling off, so this drawer was kind of 
uh, my media drawer. So I've got my iPad here on top. Now I can't really get Wi-Fi unless we go to uh, the little cafe that's open from 2 to 4 here. And it's like slow crawl <laughs> internet. It's like worse than dial-up. So I have some um, books that I read on my um, iPad. So I got those. And then underneath is a portable DVD player. We actually forgot the chargers. So... Um, I have the car charger, but I don't have the regular charger. And the kids were into the DVDs, so that's the DVDs there, the DVD cases down there, and then this is my phone charger. And I've got some headphones because I've been listening to podcasts. And lastly, over in this corner are my bags. Um, so the top bag is a Vera Bradley bag, and let's see if I can get it here. This is actually what I've been using as my purse. Um, I had purchased this as a diaper bag for Colt. And I really like it. Um, I got it at the Vera Bradley Outlet in Pennsylvania. So inside, oh, I do have my Bible, wallet, different little pouches and things. But this is the bag that I kind of take with me to church every day. Um, and I can stick a water bottle in there. And it's so easy to tote around. And then lastly, this 31 bag is filled with all of my homeschool stuff, my laptop, this is where my, my camera is in here. This is my laptop. I've got this um, portfolio. And it's got all my homeschooling stuff in there. I've got this bag. And in here is my... I've got a couple of pouches. And there are um, markers in there. Like, what are they? Paper make flares. And then these are my power sheets. My Laura Casey power sheets. And get them out. <laughs> so these are my power sheets and they fit in nicely in this 31 um, organizer so I can keep them clean and tidy. <laughs> so I'm just that way. So I've got um, some homeschool curriculum and um, little journals and notebooks, notebooks galore, um, more homeschool curriculum, a loose leaf paper pack, my, this is my, my YouTube and blog that I've never really completely put together, um, planner, and I don't use this as much as I should. I am too much of an on-the-fly kind of person to actually sit down and schedule things. Maybe I'll change that, so we'll see, but I got this at a really, um, deep discount, and it's actually really... The Deluxe Monthly Planner is, wait, yeah, the Deluxe Monthly Notebook is, it's quite awesome. All of this is paper. There's a folder here in the back, and Aaron Condren goodies, and um, my friend sent me this card when I reached 4,000 subscribers. It's so sweet, so I have it tucked in here. And there's stickers in the back, um... Let's see. Yeah, stickers in the back. And there's two sheets of stickers. And after each page, after each calendar, is um, just a sheet of these sort of things and more paper um, to jot your thoughts and a bulleted list and then a grid and then you go into the next month. So if you ever were curious how that works. That's what it's like. So, anyways, that is the room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, if it's a little dark. Um, yeah, <laughs> just an off-the-cuff kind of thing, because I'm an off-the-cuff kind of girl. Hopefully you enjoyed. I really have loved staying in this room. Um, I've been up late every night planning and dreaming and thinking, and it's just so nice to just kind of be tucked away and it was a real gift that my mother-in-law let me stay in this room. She's been sleeping on the pull-out couch and um, she's just precious to me and I <laughs> it's been lovely being able to just stay in this room. So anyways, I'm going to go listen to a podcast. I'm going to take off my makeup and unwind for the night. I will check in with you guys soon and I will see you. Bye.